Right. That's very nice. Now, all right, let me ask you this about the Oscars, okay? Because I also want to yes. hear, I know uh, I know that you've been at the DMV and you had some type of experience there. But I want to yes. ask you, Casey Affleck, did you hear about this? He withdrew no. as an Oscar presenter for Best Actress. Because? Well, uh, there's there's charges that he was, um, that he was oh. um, inappropriate with people that work for him. I guess it was him and, was it? Was it him and Franco? Was that what it was? Well, yeah. Was that fake documentary they did, also. or or do I have that right? Um, I'm not. James a, Franco had, did some not great stuff um, with, like, I, I think he texted or a 17 year old, and he he's he's been called out for sure. All right, here's a story about Casey Affleck's dark secret, the disturbing allegations against the Oscar hopeful. It just pulled down. Yeah, it is something like that mockumentary uh, that he did with, let's see, keep going. Uh, he did a mockumentary uh, with Joaquin Phoenix, right. Remember like uh, there was that time where Joaquin Phoenix seemed to have gone crazy or something? Yeah. And there was going to be some oh, doc- yeah. Apparently, uh, he and uh, Casey Affleck made this documentary and they uh, were, I, I don't know the details, but it had something to do with like the people, the, the women that were working for them. And they were, um, I think they, I don't know if they assaulted them or uh, there were s- sexual harassment suits that were brought against him by women who worked on that movie. Um, and I don't know if they've been resolved or what. Uh, but, but he said, I'm not going to put myself in the spotlight. It says here these two lawsuits were settled out of court for an undisclosed sum. Uh, one woman woke up with him in bed with her trying to caress her. And it was super gross. And another said that he did uh, other things that qualify as sexual harassment, abusive text messages, grabbing, intimidation, etc. And this has been out there for uh, at least a year, it feels like to me. And somehow he's been able to avoid it. Um, but I guess the idea of him handing out the Best Actress uh, Award might have been just a bridge too far. Oh. Well, have you seen... Uh, so David Schwimmer just did these six harassment videos, and I guess they came from another country, had done them too, and, and um, they were such a huge hit that he made them... And that six videos, I've watched three, of, like, har- harassment happening. A, a doctor, a boss, uh, an actor. And it's, if you watch them, you'll just think, oh, my God, I've been sexually harassed my entire life. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, I mean, it's really a, a phenomenon, the whole, that, it's, I, I wonder if it's going to change, uh, how seismically it's going to change everything. What's because your sense so of that? I mean, do you, do you still find yourself in that position or what? No, no, because I'm a older and um, I have much better ability to say if anybody tried to harass me in any way, I'd tell them to go, you know, f themselves and right. be right. on my way. And I just feel more powerful in the world and I'm a mother. And I just, I just, I don't know. I just don't think that people would harass me now. Um, or if they do, it's so identifiable, and I just, you know, immediately... Um, well, here's the thing. Like, when I was a young actress, I went into to, to audition for James Toback, but my agent said, now listen, this guy is going to really be disgusting with you. He's going to ask if you masturbate. He's going to... It's He's he's a real freak, uh, but he's going to make an interesting movie, so if you want to go, you can go. And with that warning, I was like, oh, I'll go, and he... Can, I'm not going to let that happen. Like, I felt all armed. So he did do all those disgusting things, but I was ready for it, and I didn't, you know, let anything happen, and nothing, it was like, you know, I was like, oh, here's this total freak who's being disgusting. He's like an artist, you know, um, and left. But I was warned. But if I hadn't been warned and I was 20, uh, it would have been a disaster, I think. And did you have other, uh, uh, did you have other uh, instances like that as an actress? Yeah, but... As an actress, you have so many, you know, uh, in, not in the assault, not in the, you know, no one's trapping me in, in bedrooms and hotels. Um, <laughs> I didn't have that. But I had, you know, like people just talking inappropriately or just, you 
know, being just sexist and, yeah, a lot. But I don't know any actress that didn't. Do you have casting situations, like where people came on to you in the casting situation? Well, like casting situations where um, not coming on to you maybe, but like making you stand there in a bra for a long time, you know, or, you know, just being like, can you just hold on there for a second while we, you know, just, you know, bummer things like that or... It, I, yeah, I, but 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 I don't. I think that everybody did. I, I don't. It, it's, in the nineties, I don't. I don't know any women who would be like, oh no, everybody treated me respectfully and kindly, and never, you know, called me sweetie or uh, no. I know no one who who had that. All right. Well, um, look. right. I mean, you were doing that. Couldn't you imagine? Could you? Did you ever see that going on? You know, no. I, I mean, I, I no. I, I, you know, I, 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 I just think that, like, I, I don't know. I feel like, mm, mm, I, the, the, I have I had very rare occasions. I think it's just like sort of the type of uh, of guys that I am friends with. I don't know. I think we. The, to the to the extent that we ever engaged in stuff like that, it was all sort of like parody. We were making fun of that, uh, and I don't know that we even knew that it really existed in a real way. Wait, I mean, I, well, we're living in two different worlds, right? Oh, without a doubt. But I also think, right. and I don't know if there are guys who are more conscious uh, that this stuff goes on uh, than um, than me. I mean, I, I I mean, obviously, I think like I'm aware of it, a lot more aware of it now, but at the time. Uh, I, I, I well, don't... you're young too, right? So you're sort of clue. I mean, like Mark Ruffalo came out and said, you know, I could do better. Like I didn't know when I was young that catcalling, like being like, you know, not that he. I don't think I don't know if he did it on the street or I don't know where he was doing it, but like, but like just calling some, you know, making a, a, a fuss over someone's looks that you don't know or you kind of know. He said that's not cool. You know, I, I used to do that, and that's not cool, and I know that now. I mean, I think there are a lot yeah, of like subtleties. Yeah, like that stuff that... to me, like when I was that age, I was like, like I, the, the idea that somebody would do that I thought was like almost like parody. Like, because like, I couldn't like imagine, like, what do you, what, what do you get out of going like, hey, baby? Like, like, I, <laughs> like that's all I remember. I'll tell you what I remember. You remember that uh, microphone thing that, uh, when we kids that you like, you had a microphone that would send it, go into your FM radio, and there was an ad for it where they were, where those guys were uh, riding around in a uh, convertible, and they would go, "Hey baby, uh, looking good. Be back to pick you up later." And, the, and it was like we did that over our radio. We talked into the microphone. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Was it Mr. Microphone? Yeah. Mr. Microphone. See if you see the ad. Do you, do you, yeah, like, see, like, yeah, here, here it is. Wait a second. Yeah, I think this is going to be it. So it was a Mr. Microphone, and that's what it always occurred to me is, like, catcalling was, like, it's, like, so campy because, here, what, play this ad. Maybe it's okay, in this ad. Okay, here's an example. Oh, here, here's the ad. Here's, here's the an ad. example. Okay. All right, here's the ad. party's getting a little too quiet. I think it's time we liven it up with my favorite Christmas gift, Mr. Microphone. Hey, what's that? Well, you set the dial on your FM radio and... Testing, testing, testing. These kids are having a fabulous time with Mr. Microphone, the cordless microphone that actually puts your voice on the radio. There are no attaching wires, so you're free to move around. <laughs> Broadcast over the FM car radio. Hey, good looking. We'll be back to pick you up later. That's what. Oh that's my God. Entertainment. Yeah. That's what I remember about like cat calling. Like that's like just so dumb. Like. Oh no! You, if you lived in a city, you got cat, and you were young and a woman. Forget it. You got right. cat called every single day, every day. Someone's like, "Hey, baby." I don't but, get. You know, with oh, a, with, sure. a, with a microphone. But ready for this? Like yeah. here's a, here. So I did an independent film, and we're shooting along. Da, 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 and then I had to be thrown into a, a lake, and right at the last minute, the director says, or someone says, well, "You know what? I think you should be thrown in the lake without a bra." And it was like right before about to shoot, and I was like, "What?" And I was like, "Well, but." I've been wearing a bra the whole scene, and I kind of looked at the casting, uh, the costume designer, and she was like, "But she's like, well, it, it, 
it is, we only have one bra, so I guess it would be good because it wouldn't get wet. And I was <laughs> like, uh, and then you look around, and there are 50 people standing there with mics and, you know, time and the sun setting and everything. And I was like, uh, okay, I get, uh, you know, but then what is that? You know, I get thrown in the lake, and it's like a wet T-shirt right. situation. Yeah. But right. I had 30 seconds to to make that decision in front of everyone and if I didn't do it it would cause more time and right. it was just making more And then you're the a hole because she's and then, right. she's being then difficult. And you're like the fussy girl that is priggish and whatever. So it, at that to me looking back I'm like now that is uncool. <laughs> you know that's not that's not harass. I don't know what it is, but it's it's not It's I'm a sure power it's dynamic. Yes, exactly. It I mean, power maybe that's not the most egregious example, but this stuff exists on a continuum. I mean, what you said just now reminded me of the story I told about Terry Richardson, and that it was a similar dynamic at play. It's just a choice that you wouldn't make professionally uh, if you were if you were being respected. If someone said at the beginning of the day, "Now we're thinking about this choice," do you? What do you think about that? Like hours before. Right. We're going to, you know. Yeah, then, they put you on the spot. Right. So it's it's just bullying or, you know, it's just it's just uncool. But it's not anything that I thought about until this whole movement came up. And then I was like, oh, God, yeah, that was not all right for all these older men to be pressuring me like that. It is that I think is one yeah. of the more interesting dynamics. I mean, I, and the thing is, is that. This happens all the time, right? I mean, people grow older and they look back on uh, their childhood and they think about certain things that their parents may have done or other people may have done and go like, that was not appropriate. Not necessarily. I'm not talking in the context necessarily of of uh, sexual harassment. It was just like certain behaviors are not appropriate as you as you reevaluate them um, as you get older. And so it's not With right. terribly surprising that that that, you know, we would be having this phenomenon. And I think like, you know, hopefully it, it seems to me like it has to help, right? Because... Oh, yeah. Yes. I mean, even with the Aziz Ansari thing, whatever you think about that, you hope that the dialogue helps women and men to be able to say, you know, I, I'm not feeling great. I, I don't... I'm not into this, and I just want to go home. Okay? Right. Like, no hard feelings. Let's just call it a night. 